Well, hello again, friends. Today I gotta explain layouts in PyQt5. We'll discuss vertical, horizontal, and grid layouts, but we'll need the following imports. We will be importing Q label Q widget. I'm gonna put these imports on a new line just because we have a lot. Q V for vertical box layout. And I'm just gonna copy this. Q H for horizontal box layout and Q grid layout. Let's be sure that we have all these imports. These classes deal with layout managers. They aren't widgets. We'll be writing a majority of the code within our main window class. However, it can get disorganized really quick. What will help keep things organized is if we declare a separate function within the main window class. This is a common practice that you'll see within PyQt5. There will be a function for init for initialize UI for user interface. No other arguments besides self. And for now, I'll write pass. When we construct a window object, we will call self dot init UI to initialize the user interface. So anything that deals with the user interface, we're going to be writing within this function to help keep our code clean and organized. Normally, we can't add a layout manager to a main window object. Main window widgets have a specific design and layout structure that's normally incompatible with layout managers. What we would need to do is create a generic widget, add a layout manager to that widget, then add that widget to the main window in order to display the layout. Within our method to initialize our user interface, we are going to create what is called a central widget called the constructor for Q widget. This is a generic widget. Then we will take self. Self is our window. Call the set central widget method, then pass in our central widget. When working with layout managers, we will add that layout manager to the central widget. The central widget is then added to the main window. So currently, this is what we're working with. We will need some widgets to organize because right now it's empty. Let's create a few labels. Let's say label one equals Q label. I'll pass in some text. Number one. Okay, let's create four additional labels. One through five. I'll just do some copying and pasting. All of our labels are overlapping. Let's add some colors. Let's take label one, use the set style sheet method, then pass in a background color as a CSS property. Background dash color will be red. Let's copy this line of code, paste it four additional times for labels one through five. We'll have a label that is yellow, another that is green, blue, then purple. Here are the labels. They're all overlapping one another. That's why we can only see five. This is where a layout manager comes in. We'll start with the vertical layout. We will create a vertical layout manager, which we will name VBox. VBox equals call the constructor for QV box layout. We are calling the constructor. We will take our layout manager, call the add widget method, then pass in a widget such as label one near the top here. We'll do this with the other labels. We'll do some copying and pasting. Add label two, three, four, and five. There's one last step. We will take our central widget, which we have declared at the top of this function, call the set layout method, we are setting the layout of our central widget with the layout manager of VBox, vertical box. Here's the new layout. 
all of our labels, all of our widgets, are arranged vertically. For horizontal, we will use QH box layout for horizontal. Replace any instance of B box with H box. For the set layout method, pass in H box. This allows for a horizontal layout. Then we have grid. Q grid layout. Replace H box with grid. So what we have to do with grids, after adding a widget, we have to specify a row and column with separate arguments. The row and column both begin with zero. So row one, column one would be row zero, column zero. For label two, let's say row zero, column one. Label three will be row one, column zero. Four will be row one, column one then five, row one, column two. So here's the current layout. We have labels one and two, both within row zero. Labels three, four, and five are both within the second row. Let's say label five is row two, column two. That would result with something like this. We have label five, which is purple, in row two, column two. So it depends on how you want to arrange your widgets. Alright everybody, so that is an introduction to layout managers in PyQt5.